I'm heading to Kyoto with my sister today. We took Shinkansen. Kyoto is the original capital of Japan. There are so many temples, shrines, and gardens here, and you can experience old Japanese traditions. We took a bus to get to our hotel. I've been to Kyoto many times as a child, but it's been a long time. Our hotel was reasonable because we found a great deal, but it was pretty decent. The price of hotels increases considerably during busy season. We came right before the cherry blossom season starts. They even have a little cafe space with a drink bar. We planned our trip over some green tea latte. Then we walked to Gion, which is a famous geisha district. Geisha is a female performing artist who entertains with a variety of traditional Japanese arts, including dancing, singing, and playing shamisen. If you're lucky, you can see Maiko, who are apprentice geisha. We went to a restaurant for dinner. These are traditional food in Kyoto called obanzai, which mostly consists of seafood and vegetables that are prepared simply. Yuba is creamy and melts in your mouth. We tried local sake. We ate a lot. We stopped at a shrine on the way back to our hotel. Next morning, we spotted Michael. Then we changed into kimono. Kiyomi's temple is one of the most famous temples in Kyoto. There are a lot of stores and restaurants, and it's always crowded. I never want to come here during busy season if this isn't crowded. Starbucks looks different here. We ate Yuba for lunch. We spotted a cute bakery. It's a rabbit character called Miffy. I don't know if it's Japanese, but it's been popular since I was a child. I got one of their bread. We bought a bunch of stuff at a grocery store for dinner. It was unfortunately rainy and cold. I didn't want to wear kimono, but my sister did. Fushimi Inari Shrine is one of the most popular places to visit in Kyoto because of the thousands of tree gates. We ate Inari Sushi for lunch. Then we stopped at this character store. It's called Chikawa and it's very popular in Japan right now. It was plum season, so we went to Kitanoten Mangu to see plum flowers. Then we went to eat walabi mochi in Gion. It's a kind of mochi that has a jelly-like texture. We were glad we made it there before the insane crowd. 
There were more tourists from foreign countries than from Japan. Japanese people are generally very polite and respectful. Unfortunately, we often find the mannerisms of visitors from foreign countries not great. Although our country needs income from tourism, I felt that local people in Kyoto are getting a little tired of over tourism. There are many restaurants and stores in Arashiyama, and it got very busy around lunchtime. I got some cute baby castella, which is kind of a sponge cake type of food. It was cute and tasty. Then I ate walabi mochi. It's one of my favorite Japanese sweets. They had a Miffy bakery here too. You must be popular. Kyoto is a beautiful place and I love it, but it's gotten way too crowded for me. Kinkakuji is a temple covered with gold. We got matcha tea and some kind of tea snack, which contained some gold leaves. We went to a restaurant in Gion for dinner. I didn't know they had a Peter Rabbit store here. They had a little garden and a lot of Peter Rabbit products. I got some chopsticks and a tray. Okazaki Shrine has rabbits as the guardian deity, and you find many rabbit statues and other rabbit themed items throughout the grounds. You can buy these ceramic rabbit statues. There's a fortune slip inside of it. They designated rabbits as guardian deity because of the wild rabbits living in the area. Then we headed back to Shizuoka. We ate Ekiben on Shinkansen for dinner. I also got a mysterious warabi mochi. <laughs> <laughs>